how to sell Alibaba products on Etsy. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you on how you could start selling different types of Alibaba products on Etsy. Now before you start looking for different types of items or different types of products in Alibaba to sell on Etsy, you're going to have to keep in mind that Etsy is very strict with what we are going to do. Now, what we're going to do is technically drop shipping, wherein we will be using another platform to supply our product and doing it in Etsy is very difficult because in Etsy, once they detect a store that does drop shipping, once it detects it, it will automatically or they will ban and stop you from selling on Etsy again. So the process of selling in Alibaba and Etsy is drop shipping. So you're going to have to be careful with the process and we will be teaching you on how you could lessen the risk of getting caught in Etsy. Now, if you want to sell in Etsy, you're going to have to explore it as a user or as a customer as well. You're going to have to look through the different products that they are selling. You're going to have to observe how they sell or how people are selling their product, what type of product are they selling, which product are the most popular, stuff like that. But based on my observation, a lot of products in Etsy has a very high aesthetic value. Like, as you can see here, they don't have products that are very badly presented. Like, for example, let's search for a product here in Alibaba. For example, they're not going to show products that are like this. That are very messy so in etsy i have noticed that all their products or all their displays as you can see here for this example they have a very aesthetic way of presenting their product a very professional way so you will be able to identify and like see that they are actual products that people are actually selling most of them are homemade or like made to order stuff like that and as you can see here all the products are presented in a way that is very professional and aesthetic. So that is one of the big or one of the biggest clue on what you should start selling in Etsy or how you should start selling in Etsy. Because if you upload a product, for example, this product over here, it will look very suspicious and it will stand out immediately in Etsy and that will begin the investigation whether your store is actually your own store and you're not drop shipping so the first thing you're going to have to do is search for the product of course that you would like to sell but you're going to have to keep in mind the aesthetic value you're going to have to match the different style or like the way people upload their product in etsy to make it look like you're selling a homemade product or like a product that is made by yourself for example over here this one over here, people are actually making this chain uh, necklace or chain bracelet over here. For example, this one also, this is a custom made product. So these are customized and homemade items. And you will be able to see the range of aestheticness. So you're going to, have to look for that in Alibaba. Now I noticed over here on the top, on the top ranking, these items do look very aesthetic especially like the patches it has that style it has that professional feel so you could use this patches as like one of the product that you could sell in etsy now for example this one over here this is a custom product based on the information over here as you can see custom rubber patches and this is something that you could start selling on etsy as well now if you're not really confident whether this product will sell or if this product is going to be accepted at Etsy, you could search this item or search a keyword in Etsy, for example, the rubber patches, and let's see. And there we go. You will be able to see similar items. So you will be able to like be sure that the product that you're going to sell is going to be accepted in Etsy. Now, what you're going to do after finding a specific item, like for example, this one, custom rubber patches. This is a bit hard to sell in Etsy because this is customized and like the different uh, type of item that they have is like, as you can see, customized and based on, on my understanding, based on the 
specific photo or the specific design the customer provides them. Although you could still pull this off, what you're going to do first is you're going to search for an extension that would allow you to download the different images in Alibaba for you to upload in Etsy. Now, the specific extension that you're going to use is called Alibaba Image Downloader and Editor. So you're simply going to add this to your browser by doing that. And after adding this, as you can see, it's already added. You will be able to check out an uh, item in Alibaba. For example, this item will be here. Let's refresh it. And let's see the difference between the version from earlier and the version now after we added the extension. Now, I think there is some issue with the extension. So uh, let's not use that for now. I think that's an issue with my browser. But you get the idea. You will be using an extension. And that extension will allow you to download the images that you are seeing right now on your screen. For example, this images will be here. The images in the display, the images in the description, all of the information that you are seeing right now. Now, what you're going to do is you're simply going to copy the title, put it in your Etsy store when you're adding a product, copy the title, copy the description, and you're going to have to uh, inform or have a mini description that this is an item from Alibaba. Although this is a bit risky, it is important that you inform your customer where their product is coming from. And if this does not work, you can simply remove that and inform your customer through private chat or through something more private so that Etsy doesn't know that you are getting it from Alibaba. Now, after getting all the product details, you're going to have to copy all the details like the title, the details, the photos, and put it on your products in Etsy when you're adding a product. And you're also, of course, going to change the pricing so that you have some income take into account the delivery fee and everything and after that uh, let's assume that you are now able to post that specific product in Etsy and someone buys now what do you do when someone buys the product in Alibaba that you have gotten and this is a custom item so they will be able to send you the picture of the specific item they want so what you're going to do after they order is you're going to get the user's information or the customer's information that is usually provided when they order product from you. Like you would know the address, the number, and the name. So what you're simply going to do is you're going to go to Alibaba and you're going to buy that specific item that you are selling. But this time, you're going to enter the information of the customer in Alibaba so that, for example, I am sending or someone ordered from Etsy named John and what i'm going to do is i'm going to order in alibaba and put in john's information like his address and phone number so that when the item is going to be delivered it will be delivered to his location and his name and through that method you will be able to start selling in etsy by using alibaba products now although you could do this you could also do the harder one or like the inventory version where you actually order from Alibaba have it as an inventory on your own place and like actually sell it in Etsy and you could do the manual version wherein you're actually buying receiving and then selling it on Etsy and then delivering it to them that is the more manual version and less risky if you ask me but takes a lot more time to pull it off and that's it guys that is how you could sell Alibaba products on Etsy hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe